So today we are gonna build this little model here, the triple slot or slots by nonlinear circuit. Let's go. Here is the kit. Let's turn on our iron, let's put a bit of water and we are ready. We need our little friend like always. And we start from the IC. This cute little guy here. Iron is hot. We can start. What there is right on the PCB should be oriented like what there is right on the AC. So, for example, if you see there is U1, okay, and in the same way should be oriented um, the what there is right on the PCB in the same way. In that way, you will not get a wrong orientation and you will not need to unsolder everything after. So we start like always with the AC. You are one leg and you put the solder on it and it's done. I'm using 1.0, um, the diameter of the solder wire is big, I know, but this is what I have and in this situation of quarantine is only what I can get. Now we go with the diodes, like always the arrow is telling you where the black line should go. We start warming the little square on the PCB and we place a bit of solder wire on it. So we can then go and place our diodes. My hand is always moving so much. If I can do it with this hand, everyone can do it, I think. So cute, so small. And I'm pretty satisfied with the IC job here. Now let's go with the resistors and the capacitors. Like always, we prepare, we open them, we prepare the little square on the PCB, and then we go to place them, like always. Every resistor has its own code and number on the PCB, and they are really a lot. So I wrote them on one paper and just erase the number when I did that. Just to not get confused. This is how it looks like when we finish our resistors. Now we can go with capacitors. And it's pretty late here. I think I will just go to sleep. Ah, good morning. I'll take this coffee, a really good piece of cake, and we can go to work again. I didn't finish with the capacitors, so let's finish them. And now only these two little guys here and we can move on with our power sockets. We start to make the connection between the PCB with components and PCB with pods and jacks. Let's place them and let's solder only one leg of them and check that everything fit exactly. Now we can move on and solder them all. Now the pots, remember to remove always that little iron thing. Place them and then we go to place the jacks too. Oriented in this way, remember. We put some of them on the panel and we see that everything is good oriented. Now we can move on and solder them all. 
the panel so we can go and place the lights. I use bicolor LED, blue and red, so I can see when it's positive and negative. But I place them in the opposite way. So in this way I can have red color when it's positive and blue color when it's uh, negative. Now the final step after we check the continuity. We go to try our model if it's actually working or not. And after a bit all the lights turned on and it's working. Yes, it's working. So here it is. Slots by nonlinear circuit. Beautiful, really slow LFO. I really like this job, how it's. And if you like the video, whatever, if you enjoyed the time, if it was useful, just subscribe and leave a like. See you.